that split face on the floor. Now what if we want to do a split face in a wall? Well, we'll use our, our makeshift restroom we have right here. And I'll go ahead and uh, do a, a um, section line through that restroom just so that we can see the wall structures in here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll adjust this and we'll close this down. All right, so now we have our restroom here. All right, and we want to go ahead and split this wall here. Well, the way we're going to do that is again, we're going to go to our modify. We're going to go to our split face command and we're going to go ahead and select, as you can see, that wall. All right. When we do that, you'll notice that it's picking up more than just this room inside here because that wall was continuous. But that's fine because what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use our line tool. We're going to come over here and you'll notice that it will snap to the faces of surrounding walls. And we're going to go ahead and bring this over here. All right. And we can go ahead and click on it. We can go ahead and dimension it if we want to see what the actual uh, height of it is. All right. So if we want it something less than that, we can go ahead and click on that. We can make it four feet. All right, we'll get rid of our dimension line. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and finish that frame. Okay, and we'll pick up this side as well. So now we have that finished. We can click on the green check and you'll notice it leaves you that line across there. This time we'll go to our paint command again. And this time we're gonna go up to one of our tiles. And we'll go ahead and place that in there. Now you'll notice in this case, I painted it with the tile, but nothing showed up. So I need to go into my Manage tab and my Materials. And I need to click on this Tile 4. And as you'll notice here, it doesn't have a surface pattern. So I will go ahead and click on the 4-inch uh, tile as my surface pattern. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And now you notice here we have our tile. We can go ahead and we can dimension this if we want to show heights of our materials based upon reference to our ceiling. All right. But we can go ahead and click on that. Now, once we have that in there, we can go ahead and we'll open up our 3D view. And we'll go ahead and hide our roof. And we'll hide our ceiling. And you'll notice now that in those rooms that we modified this floor split face, we have those flooring in there. And you'll also notice the, the room that we modified the wall, we have that tile in there. Now, something to keep in mind is that just because you change the surface pattern to um, carpet or wood flooring, you'll notice if you go into these rooms, it does not change that material for you. Okay, so that would have to come out to be as a detail uh, detail of this area to show that there's carpet in there but the one thing that it does do is when you're in your rooms it does allow you to select and to associate these rooms with those square footages um, as well as what's in there so for example when we were to we were to tag this room we can call this room whatever room it would be, I can give it an area. And we know that there's 126 square feet of carpet in here. So I can select this room and I can go to floor finish and I can type in carpet. Okay. I can do the same thing in this room. I'll go ahead and change this one to an area. And I can select this room and I can say that this room is going to have 327 feet of square feet of wood flooring. Okay. Alright. So we can assign these to our projects and then as we make our material or our room schedules it'll show that we have wood flooring in one or carpet in the other. And the same thing goes for our tile. We can assign tile to certain walls or to all of the walls and we can show how much area that tile is taking up. 